Hey, it's Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and welcome to this uh, edition where I'm talking about how I'm trimming my collection, looking to uh, uh, explain the shoes that I'm selling uh, and uh, the condition that they're in. Uh, so I am willing to part with some of my Allen Edmonds shoes, and uh, if folks are not interested in purchasing them, I will uh, go ahead and donate them. But I wanted to make them available to uh, some folks first. So these are Allen Edmonds today, um, all of them. And uh, we'll start with the first pair. This is a pair of Allen Edmonds leads in shell cordovan. I want to point out there is a crack in the cordovan right here, uh, so it has a little bit of damage. They also need new soles. Uh, but these are a really nice vintage pair, uh, pretty good shape other than that. Certainly something that could be repaired um, you know, by the right cobbler, uh, but also something that has been existing on the shoe for quite a long time, and um, you know, they're really no worse for wear. So uh, I've been wearing them with that crack on them for more than 10 years, and uh, have had no other effects. So that's pair number one. Uh, pair number two, and apologies that this is in an Alden box, uh, but uh, this is my Shell Cordovan Patriots. Uh, those of you who watch my channel know that I'm not into black shoes, um, so this is one of my only pairs, my only pair of black shell, and I've decided that I can let it go. Uh, the, uh, the sizes are different on each shoe, I'll put them on the video, but these are a size 12, 12D. Okay. Um, and. Uh, Pretty good shape. Um, they do need um, some new soles, and I had a cobbler put them on uh, the heels on, and they put on the wrong kind of heel. So they do need new uh, heels and soles. So we discounted accordingly. So that is pair number two. Pair number three. Um, is a different size yet. Uh, this is a size 11 and a half E. And um, you notice I put all of these in shoe bags. This is going to be exactly what it looks like when you take it out of the box. And these are shell cordovan brown strands. Um, also need new soles and heels. Uh, but other than that, are in uh, very, very good condition for their age. Uh, these are uh, more than 10 years old as well. So good shoes. Just take them both out so you can see them. I don't want anybody to feel like I'm holding anything back. Um, if you'd like more pictures, just ask. Happy to send them to you. And that is my shell cordovan from Allen Edmonds. Now The rest, um, this is an AE by Allen Edmonds, uh, and this is the quarter. Okay, so, this is actually the original box, uh, but I included some shoe bags for you. This is the Porter Street sneaker. Um, so, you can see very good tre treadwear left, uh, no visible damage. Um, this is the other one, again. No visible damage. Sorry, get that off there. Um, pretty good shape. So I think that uh, whoever is looking for these, these are an 11D. Um, and I think whoever is looking for them uh, will, will, will like these a lot. Uh, they've served me well. So that is my sneakers, suede sneakers. Um, and for those who don't know, Alan admits suede is all Charles Epstead suede. Uh, next, we have a, this is an 11 and a half E, again, and these are the Bond Street. Um, very little sole wear, as you can see. And I'm selling these only because I'm now an 11D. 
and uh, just decided that I don't. I wanted to reduce the collection a little bit, and these just don't fit into the criteria anymore. So um, good shoes, really solid. Uh, I think you'll like them. And I am uh, just including the one shoe bag in these, just like you would get from Alan Ed. So uh, not in the original box because I didn't get. I, I normally don't when I get them in the store. So, uh, next on there is these are the Barnettes, uh, which are uh, really great. Uh, it's very similar to the Crosby Street, but it's got a standard bench welt. Uh, these were a private label made for Nordstrom. Uh, perfect shape, no issue at all. This is the coffee color, um, so very happy with these. Uh, I believe they were factory seconds, as most of my shoes were. Um, so, you know, obviously that's a concern, but uh, feel free to, you know, take a look at them, ask for pictures, whatever you like. Um, but uh, certainly nothing that I would consider to be a problem for. So. And these are really nice. Kudu suede um, boots uh, with the rubber soles. Um, uh, real nice ones. Uh, happy to uh, part with them if somebody is looking for it. Um, so we'll leave that there. We only got three more. Pairs here. Um, now we have the Crosby Streets that I talked about before. You can see they have the different sole, like the Bond Streets. Um, and I'm also willing to let these go. These are in Cigar, uh, which is uh, basically like a museum calf. So really nice there. And um, here you go. And these are actually F1s. Um, so um, this was uh, a uh, great shoe. Uh, now, here we have, and I, I don't mean to say that I'm getting away from Allen Edmonds. I'm going to have a lot of Allen Edmonds left, but um, I am uh, um, just changing my collection strategy to include a lot of additional brands, and I have 30 pairs of Allen Edmonds, so I'm, I'm reducing that by a third. Um, here you see, this is a Cornwallis in Walnut. I've done some burnishing on there. Um, on one of the shoes, if not both, uh, these were F2s, and there is a visible stripe that's here. Uh, other than that, they're, they're okay. Um, I feel like they're ready for new soles, and rather than invest in soles, I felt like I could let these go. So um, that is an option there for you as well. So just uh, we're going to go ahead and um, wrap these. So there, there. And then last but not least, these. Now these were something that I picked up online. These are no warranty shoes um, and will be priced accordingly, but you can see there's very little sole wear. Um, and uh, the reason that they are set is there's this little neck here in the top of the lining. Uh, it's not anything I've ever deemed worthy of repair, uh, but it is unsightly. If that bothers you, then don't buy them. So again, one shoe bag for this. So that is my Allen Edmonds collections. We're going to look at some other shoes that are going to be for sale here. This is J. Fitzpatrick, and this is a pair of uh, made-to-order Whittiers. So I had these made on the LPB last, uh, which is the same last as the um, uh, those new really good-looking um, Austerity Brogues that are out. Um, these are in really great shape. Uh, you can see the amount of sole wear is fairly insignificant. Um, even inside, pretty insignificant. 
Uh, these are a size 10 and a half UK. So not to be confused today, he's listing his uh, uh, shoes in uh, US sizes. Uh, so this would be the same as an 11 and a half US. So very, very good shoes. Uh, just a little bit on the big side for me since my sh foot shrank. And so I am actually picking up something similar from his new line uh, to, uh, to replace these. So uh, that is pair number one. Number two, also J. Fitzpatrick. These are the sunny side. Same basic issue. Uh, these are um, his Adelaides. They're punch Adelaide, so the uh, top here, it's not a separate piece of leather, but they've got a really nice cap toe and really nice heel caps. Uh, again, sole and heel wear is minimal. Nothing there on the edge. Uh, very, very nice shoes. Uh, the only reason that I'm letting them go is because of size. So just looking to, uh, here's the other one. Hi. Very, very good shoe. Um, again, very little wear. Uh, again, 10 and a half. And uh, I should really be in a probably nine and a half UK uh, based on how, uh, how loose these are. So. Uh, I have ordered a pair already to uh, test that theory, and uh, we'll see how that goes, but for now, I'm willing to let these go. Now, I've got two pairs of Lokes that I'm going to, uh, uh, that I'm willing to let go. First pair is the Loke Buckingham. Very, very nice shoe. Again, you can see the sole wear is minimal. Um, really, really well made, part of the Loke 1880 series, uh, part of the basics. And really, um, I sized these too big, they're a size 10, and I really wish that I had gone for a 9.5 UK. Uh, when I was fitted on Loke, that came out to be the right size for me. So this is the original box, and actually that's a 10.5, so that's why they feel so big on me. So now I... Uh, my other pair of Lokes is a pair of, of Bedales, and these are also a little bit big for me, and that's because they are an 11G. Uh, remember, I wore an 11 and a half E. I didn't really understand what G meant, and so uh, when I got these, um, I didn't realize that they were triple E's, and I got a 12 triple E US, and I wear and I wore an 11 and a half E, so they're on the large side. So, uh, very very good shape, not a ton of wear. Um, I think you'll be pleased at the value I'm offering on these. So, uh, you know, just really great uh, great boots, um, and. Uh, you know, great, uh, great opportunity uh, to get into Loke, which is impossible to buy in the U.S. Uh, you know, I had to buy these when I was overseas. So, just uh, an opportunity there. So, also Loke 1880, as you can see. Now, the next pair I have. is actually a pair that I got for a video, and it's uh, from Eves and Gray, right before I started my YouTube channel, and this is the Vickers. Now, you'll notice this has got some really serious packaging, and that's because they come in this beautiful acrylic shoebox, which is uh, certainly different. Uh, they've got these really nice bags. This is one of the few pairs that I'm selling with trees, and uh, they are using gray trees. And you can see these also, very little on the wear side. Um, really, uh, really good, solid made shoe. Uh, just decided to uh, take the collection in a little bit of a different direction. And so wanted to uh, uh, kind of change, change these up and, and try something new and make sure that these go to a nice home. So here, let's make sure I get that on right. So this is actually how I've got them boxed. 
So you're actually seeing everything that's in it. And, um, you know, happy to provide more pictures. There's a lot of pictures on my Instagram account. And uh, you'll be able to see it. Now, lastly, as part of this film, I have the herring. And this is the herring Lockenhurst, or Lockenheath, excuse me, 10 and a half F. And uh, really nice shoe. I'm including the trees on these. Um, this is corrected grain, uh, but is um, a really well, well made shoe. If you don't want the trees, obviously, I'm willing to keep them. Uh, these are a limewood tree. Um, a big combination one and uh, just a really good fit for the shoes and uh, again there's nothing wrong with these these are not factory seconds they're just uh, a very good solid well-made shoe again just taking the collection in a different direction and making room on my shelves for something new so this is Wisconsin shoe guy and that is what I've got in my collection now and available. Um, I hope that uh, you find something that you like and that it's your size. Obviously, I can't control the sizing. Um, I'm going to try doing it this way, see if that makes a better fit in the box. Um, I may have to take the trees out of these just to ship them. Uh, it's always a challenge. Or I'll just get a really nice tight fit, which is what I think I did. Yep. So there you go. And that is that. Okay. So for these shoes, um, I have uh, five pairs of Meerman and a pair of Amblier. Uh, this is a brand, a uh, house brand for the Sabbath. And uh, really beautiful suede Adelaides. Uh, which I'm very fond of. Uh, just uh, looking for a uh, different sole. Not really super fan of the rubber sole like that. Uh, but these have these beautiful nylon lined shoe bags. They came, they came with trees, so I'm including the trees for them. And, uh, you know, not very much wear. Again, like the others, it's, uh, you know, I have a rotation of 90 shoes, so even though I've had them a little more than a year, um, just not a lot of wear. So thought that this would be a uh, great thing to go to a good home and uh, will be priced accordingly. So just uh, looking for, you know, that opportunity to, um, to if nobody picks these up, I'm not going to donate them. I'll actually keep those. Now, for my Meermans, uh, this is a pair of Whiskey Shell Cordovan. Uh, where most of my Meermans are a size 11 UK. Um, these are a size um, 11 and a half UK. So you can see that there. And uh, Whiskey Shell. These are factory seconds because of this blemish right here. It's very minor. Uh, no real issue there. Comes with the original bags. Um, you can see the shoes. Pretty good shape. Uh, very, a little wear on the sole, but not very much. And... Uh, feel like these, uh, again, uh, could fit me better, so therefore I'm, I'm, I'm letting them go. I'm actually um, going down to a 10 in Meerman, so uh, all of these are being, you know, let go purely for sizing, not for any other reason. Original box. Uh, you can see I even have the original stuffing in those particular ones, uh, although that's not common. Now these are my um, Adelaides from Meerman. Um, you can see I've done a little bit of a burnish polish on them. Um, soles in very good shape. These are a 10 and a half um, versus a uh, 10. Most of mine are 10s. Um, ten, this, uh, or excuse me, most of mine are 11s. So I went down on this figuring that it needed to be a little small. Um, these were these are broken in now finally, so um, hopefully you won't have the the same uh, break-in period uh, So that's a, a good reason to look at them right there, uh, but a, uh, a great Now my next pair these are um, some split toes. This is the 
um, antique oak color, which is an exact match for Meerman or uh, for Saphir medium brown. Um, and these have uh, Danite type soles right here. Um, also pretty good shape. Um, they've had some they've had some time um, on my feet, but you can see that the, if you look at the heels and that breakdown, there's still a, a significant amount of sole on that left. Um, so I, I wouldn't think that I'm not discounting them for that at all. Um, so pretty good shoes and uh, a great opportunity to own a really nice split toe. Now I have them in two colors. This is also um, the same shoe, but in tobacco instead of in antique uh, oak. So this is also an exact match for tobacco. Um, soles, less wear. Can you see I even have the original sticker on the sole on this. So again, really nice, well put together shoe. Um, these are a 10 UK, and the only reason I'm letting them go is for sizing. Or excuse me, an 11 UK, not a 10. And you can see that right here, it's an 11 E. And that's the same as all of my Mermans, uh, except for the Elton. Which is a 10 and a half. And of course the, uh, the shells, which are an 11 and a half, okay? This is my Ruby Last Long Wing. Um, also an 11. You can see the sole wear on this is very, very small. Um, this particular um, uh, last, I would probably go down to a nine and a half if I did in the future. Um, so um, it's it's pretty pretty generous. Uh, just to make sure you see both shoes. Here's the other. Very good shape. You know the insides are all in good shape too. Um, so I don't want anybody to think that there's anything hidden there. Uh, Solid shoes. Again, just looking for the fit to be a little bit better. Um, and uh, thought I'd uh, give these a whirl to reset. Okay, so these are my leather lately London long wings. Really great spectator type shoe. Um, I believe this is all actually polished, uh, um, polished coloring instead of, uh, um, you know, actually um, inked differently. But um, they've done a really nice job, and I've been able to maintain it in pretty good shape over the years. Um, so these actually have my name on the inside of the shoe here. Uh, so uh, it says it's handmade for me. Uh, so I'm not sure if anybody's going to be interested in picking them up. Uh, but you can see from the sole wear, uh, these are in very good shape. Um, there's hardly any wear at all, um, and uh, I have worn them, so I feel like uh, that's a good sign of the quality. Um, these are Goodyear Welted uh, in Mexico, and um, by the leather lately, and uh, they do a really nice job. So if this is uh, something that you're interested in and want to uh, give a try, let me know. Um, I have two pairs of leather lately. I have this pair, and then I have a pair of derbies, which I will show uh, right now. So, original box, which is a uh, coincidence that I still have it, but um, your benefit, my loss. Um, here we go. Uh, these are the Derbies, um, also part of the London series. These are both 11 and a half E, and um, American size. Again, very little on the wear side. Just a really nice um, pulled leather. So just pulling the other shoe, as you can see. Very nice. Like these are full leather stacks on the heel. Just a really well put together shoe. Um, my first exposure to made in Mexico. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with them other than that the fit is a little bit on the big side because my, my feet change sizes. So I'm just updating based on that reason alone. So, um, it is uh, great, great shoes and hoping to find a good home for them. So, that is my leather lately for sale.